So as most of you know, my fig trees during the big Texas freeze, my fig trees just were killed all the way down to the ground. I mean, there was nothing left. They just, uh, the freeze just knocked them all the way down. Uh, I have a lot of questions about have they come back? Uh, have they flourished? How are they doing? Um, so let's take a look. Have they come back? In a word, you betcha. I guess that's three words. This is a brown turkey. As you will remember, when I came through here after the freeze, the hard freeze, we got down to zero and it killed these trees. And these are not my baby trees. These are trees that are seven, eight years old or so and killed them all the way back to the ground. I went through and just cut everything off uh, and just uh, cut it off at the ground simply because the, the wood was dead. And, and I knew, well, I felt like the, uh, there was gonna be new growth and I didn't want it to compete with the, uh, the old growth. It just looked, gonna look unsightly to have all those old dead limbs in the midst of all this new growth. And, but am I surprised at the new growth? Heck yeah. That is about 12 feet tall at the very tallest peak tallest part there and again this is a brown turkey i've got a celeste behind me we'll look at and then i've got those uh fig trees that i had in containers and somebody asked me about how the container fig trees are doing well most of you know that i put those in the ground last fall and let me show you how they're doing also and tell you what happened to them during the freeze so this is a brown turkey but i want you to look i got little old figgies everywhere now it's starting to starting to wane down from summer so are these going to ripen well that i don't know but everywhere you look there are figs up in there right in there everywhere you look there are figs so um I, i'm in, i'm i'm very not just impressed look at that yes figs I don't know, there's a half dozen figs and within a, a six or eight inch area there. Uh, the figs have done really good. This brown turkey is beautiful, looking good. I mean, most, most time this time of year, of course, now we've had a, a mild summer, but most of the time there's a lot of leaf drop. It's just a natural thing with fig trees that they do a, a, a huge leaf drop. Um, and this hasn't done it. I've got a little bit of dead leaves in the middle there. You can see some in the middle that uh, the leaves are kind of dying, but I mean, usually this thing strips, just naturally strips back uh, a lot of the, the, the leaves and it's just not happening this year. So real happy with the brown turkey, but even more happy with the Celeste. Again, about 12 feet tall up at the uh, uppermost parts. And this tree also had absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing uh, no sprouts. I think when I, when I came through here and trimmed it off, I believe I had, you know, just two or three that were that long, which gave me kind of hope that it was going to come back. Uh, thought it would anyway, because it was an established tree, but I just really, you know, I wasn't sure. Uh, we don't get down to zero very often, but, uh, this one's done real well. You know, I thought the Celeste had more figs than the brown turkey did, but I don't know. Uh, that brown turkey had a lot of figs. Now there's, again, some in there. There's a, there's a lot of figs, but and even some brand new ones for them. And that one's that right there. It's brand spanking new. Uh, but are they gonna have time enough to ripen? It's the middle of September and I just don't know. I fertilized them the other day you're going to ask me what I used. Um, I used the 20-20-20 uh, water soluble from Haas. Uh, probably used six tablespoons, six to eight tablespoons in a, about a five gallon bucket. Started up real good and, um, and just poured it uh, just in the, from the bucket, just poured it in, poured it here, about three different places. Uh, around the fig tree and just sloshed it on there, poured it, you know, slopping a, like you slopping a hog 
and um, it's looking good. It's really pretty. Uh, again, this one's this one may be bigger around, bigger in diameter than the brown turkey. It's about as tall, but it may be larger in diameter. Uh, it's it's uh, there's a lot of growth there from absolutely nothing. There was nothing there at the end of February. So I am uh, nothing alive at the end of February. Everything above ground was dead. Now, obviously the roots lived. All the roots lived and have put on that kind of growth, 12 feet of growth in one year, actually in about uh, six months. So uh, it's heavily mulched. Now this mulch is two, three years old, um, but it's heavily mulched at, at one time. Shoot, that mulch was probably 16, 18 inches thick. Right now it's about a foot thick because it's, it's composted down. But anyway, the figs are looking good. Um, you know, I, it remains to be seen whether or not I'm gonna get a lot of figs because I just don't know about the ripening time. If I'm gonna have, I've got a lot of figs. I just don't know if I'm gonna have the time to get them all ripe. So uh, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're, that's what we're wondering about. Let's put it that way. All right, the figs I had in the orange containers, the container figs that I had uh, growing and, um, Decided to put it in the ground. Glad I did because of the freeze. Let's go look at them and I'll show you what happened to them because they got hurt too. So these are the figs that I had in those um, orange containers. So anyway, put the, um, the orange tub, wicking tubs uh, that had the figs. I planted them all out here. Now this is where my blackberries used to be. And I planted them all out here in the blackberry patch that is now the fig patch and they're doing real well this is a uh, kadota k-a-d-o-t-a -A, kadota fig the next one i can just kind of show you around here ride around in the golf cart a little bit now, this one is really what you would what would be considered a perfect perfectly shaped fig tree multiple stems coming up multiple trunks and just coming up in a in a in a group like that instead of displayed out or, or you know one coming up and splitting off from it you really for several reasons you want multiple trunks it, it, it it's more productive but also it has a greater likelihood of surviving hard freezes um you know one or two trunks may if it gets down to 10 15 degrees one or two of those trunks may die, but one or two of them may not for that reason there is probably greater survivability uh long term for a, tr a, a, a multi-trunked approach on figs which is what i'm doing with these i you know i, I speculated about uh, doing the one tree just like you do a regular tree a trunk and then coming off with some you know just a one one trunk but uh everything i read says this is the absolute best way to do it and they're going to come up anyway uh, you're going to have to prune, prune, prune because it is by nature going to reproduce itself from the root. So every year you're going to have stuff coming up. So if you're going to train it to a solo uh, trunk, then you're going to be fighting that battle every year, of uh, all year long of, of cutting out trunks, stems that come up from the, uh, from the root system. So I just decided to let it go like this. And I think it's the best uh, course of action. Um, this one is the only one that uh, all of them died down to the ground. I think I, I think I told you that. All these fig trees died completely back to the ground. Uh, there was nothing alive above ground. And since they're young, I wasn't sure about these. My two big trees, I was kind of sure they were gonna come back. These were, there were second year trees. Now I bought them, they were in five gallon pots and they were pretty good size. So they were, they were probably two, three years old when I bought them. But I mean, they were second year for me to have them. And uh, I just, or this is their second year. So I really was concerned that they were, you know, gonna have the, gonna have the root system that it took to, um, uh, to make it through that hard freeze. This one did not, or for some, for, for, for whatever reason, this one did not make it through the freeze. This was a um, Ischia, I think. I marked them all, I put that flag in it. Yeah, Ischia. Ischia. And uh, this is the only one that didn't make it. Uh, the rest of them did real well. This is a, um, let's see what it is. Most of these are lemon type figs. In other words, they're, they're yellow figs. 
they stay yellow or green. That's an Alma. That is a Louisiana purple. I had a Louisiana gold on the other side of it, and it did make it until I ran over it with my brush hog, and that kind of took care of that. So anyway, <laughs> that's my fault. That's not uh, that's not my old man Winter's fault. That's my fault. This one here, and I've. I've failed to tell you how big these are how tall they are it's kind of hard to see perspective on camera but this one here is uh it's almost six feet tall five and a half and uh kind of a multi-pronged some of them don't look great but even the ones that doesn't look good it's, it's got some uh some it had some leaves on it that apparently broke off and you can see some dead leaves down here and they do that though again they shed leaves that's what they do this time of year but uh still got some good growth some new growth here here um, just about everywhere, so it's gonna make it. Uh, this one is a dig for my dig for my doodad here. That is a just called a lemon fig, which is a I think it's a striped lemon striped fig. See that, that that leaf was ready to fall off. All I had to do was touch it. So they do lose a lot of leaves, and people wonder why. You know what's wrong with my fig tree? It's just it happens. That's what goes on. Uh, but all these look good. I'm real pleased. And all these I didn't even show. These got figs all over them. Not as many as the other ones, obviously, because it's it's a again much younger tree. Five years. These trees are probably five years younger than the two big trees I showed in the beginning. But every limb, just about, has got a nice little crop of figs on it. Fertilize these about the same way. About a couple of, couple of three tablespoons of, um, of the 2020-20 in Haas Tools, 2020-20 uh, water soluble. I'll put a link to that below, so look below for the link to that fertilizer. And I mixed it in... Uh, Oh, probably a gallon or two gallons of water. I've got the drip irrigation on it, so I'm, I, I'm irrigating them about every other day during the summer, but um, but I, I haven't fertilized them in a while. So I, I threw some fertilizer on them in that water soluble, about a, a gallon or a gallon and a half of water with uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons of the 20-20-20. Um, uh, and uh, I can't tell they just sprung up from that, but I'm, I'm expecting I'm expecting good things. The fact that I've got them deeply mulched, fertilizing them well, watering them well, maybe why they're not doing a lot of leaf drop. Now, they, leaves may start falling off. Uh, I'm not talking about fall leaf drop. I'm talking about a summer leaf drop. And the leaves may start falling off uh, of some of these, but I do believe they would have already started doing that. I did spray them once with a, uh, a fungicide, uh, copper, if I remember right. It was the copper spray. The, uh, liquid cop uh, when I sprayed my blackberries I had some solution left so I made I made sure I sprayed uh, all my little trees I think I sprayed my big fig trees some I think I did can't remember it's been a month ago <laughs> anyway uh, I've talked a lot about figs and just want to show you what's going on and and you tell me if yours are doing the same if yours look this good if yours look better I want to know it I want to know what you're doing if, if they look better because you're you're doing something different than me let me know because I want to have a big big crop of figs next year hopefully this these will make this year and I can put up some jelly or something but um, I do want to have a bunch of figs for next year that I can uh, maybe have people come pick and just have a big time. All right, that's what my figs are doing. One DOA, the rest of them have done real well. The rest of them have done real, real well. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. All right, I think we're gone.